Under the Sea. That is one nice uh, 8-bit rendition of Under the Sea. Let's listen to it for a second. Sounds good. This is one of those Capcom games, one of those Capcom Disney games, like, you know, DuckTales, yeah. Rescue Rangers, all I that. think I used to play, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see the memory, uh, see if this jogs my memory, but uh, I, I think I played the Genesis version of this mm-hmm. most of the time. There is a Genesis and there's a Game Boy, I'm sorry, uh, Game Gear version. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, this doesn't look very familiar, so th- except the conch shell looks exactly like uh, uh, Jaws. Oh, they yeah. They conch shells in it. Um, but uh, it's like the exact same sprite. It's almost like they they must have got that. Uh, but uh, I definitely it was definitely the Genesis version okay. that I played. Um, see how this holds up. But yeah, yeah, Capcom did a lot of the Disney uh, franchises. They did. Mm-hmm. So I'll tell. I'll, if you haven't played this one, I'll tell you basically the idea. So you hit. Jeez, if I can do this. Um, she has like a tail attack. And you hit the things twice, and then you grab the enemies, mm-hmm. and then you can basically throw them and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is a very simple game. This is a pretty fairly easy game, so we should be able to get through it. Yeah, actually, that's really funny. The, the shells look exactly it, like... It looks exactly... And by the way, that's memory, like... At least. You know what's weird? Uh-huh. That's like a different company, because this is Capcom. Exactly, yeah. And that was um, L- LJN, I guess. Was it LJN? Or wh- whoever actually made it. You know what? Maybe the people who made this like, actually developed it. Maybe. I don't Maybe, know. Maybe, yeah. Um, I went down there to grab the conch shell because in Jaws you're supposed yeah, to do that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, Little Mermaid was the last D- Disney feature to be all traditionally animated, right? Like, with without any CG scenes. Because um, Beauty and the Beast had, like, the, it did. the ballroom scene was, like, was some computer generated. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, th- I don't think there was any computer animation in Little Mermaid. Yeah. Alright, so this is, this is the boss already. Mm-hmm. So, as you would imagine, you just grab these guys and throw it <laughs> at, the, mm-hmm. at the shark. This is a very basic game. This game's for younger kids. Um, oh, they actually, like, made it easier because... I mean... It's, I mean, it's not Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, what, that's not, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, like, they, they kind of were like, okay, we can't make this as hard as we usually do. Because, you know, there's hard, and then there's NES hard. Yeah, this is not one that would qualify as, N- as NES hard. There are parts of that movie that are kind of, like... Scary? Scary, yeah. yeah. Ursula. Ursula was really scary, actually. Yeah, see, Ursula, like, collects souls. I don't know if you remember that, but that part is always, yeah. like, fucking creepy. And the souls, like... Especially at the end when she's like coming out of the water and they have to like smash the yeah. boat. They pretty much kill her like Jaws the Revenge style <laughs> with the boat. And maybe yeah. there's a connection between Jaws and, and this Little Mermaid. <laughs> I, n- I never thought yeah. of that. You, you, you may be right. <laughs> hey, you're, you're fighting a shark. That's true. And there's the, there's the shells and everything. I don't know. Little Mer- Mermaid versus Jaws. Let's, let's see it. I think Jaws would win. Versus Jaws, like Jaws is the name of the shark. <laughs> yeah. you know, the Jaws is never like the name of the shark; it's the name of the movie and the book. Oh, and no, they don't like, never call him Jaws. They're not like, oh, here comes Jaws; he's coming back. <laughs> May- maybe by the sequels they started doing that, but it, it wasn't, you know. Well, I, yeah, not in the first one. Yeah, in the movie, there's some really creepy scenes. Like she collects people's souls. And when you see that in the movie, there's like other, um, I guess, fish people that she's already like taken their souls. And there's this, there's like a scene where the sheep, they show like all the souls and it's like super creepy. It really is. And she yeah. does the same thing at the end of the movie to King Triton. There you go. I don't know. There we go. We got all the power. Stuff. Here we go. Oh. Let's see when I get in the water. She's a powerful princess now. There we go. Oh, wow. You don't need to like. Well, maybe the other ones range. Yeah, I mean, who knows? Yeah. We've learned. Oh shit! Now you don't lose everything, now, right? You sure do. Oh boy. Uh, wait, now what do we do? You get do it over. Yeah, you have to hit those guys from the front. Were they like evil Sebastians? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe he's helping you by becoming a, oh yeah <laughs> an item. <laughs> Although there's like 9,000 of them, so... They're... There's 9,000 and they hurt you, too. <laughs> Maybe it's not Sebastian. 
You know what's fucked up about The Little Mermaid? Do you remember the chef in it? Um, How the, the chef is like cooking seafood and like Sebastian goes to like help Ariel um whatever she's doing she's like uh -huh. getting attacked by Ursula or whatever the fuck's going on <laughs> um but yeah there's a, there's a chef like it's almost like a horror scene like Sebastian goes yeah I do remember that Sebastian goes oh, into it, the into the fucking and he's like freaking out over like all the limbs and yeah, all that yeah, yeah he's like yeah. chopping up it's the, like awful it, it really is and I think I could uh, yeah we there go. you go oh. <laughs> woo and that's almost like yeah. DuckTales where you get the item at the end of the level it is easier than like an average NES game like, yeah. like it, it, it's you know, it's not any of the hard games, but it's still challenging enough. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a fun game. It takes a minute to get the controls down, but once you do, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Do you want to play this one while I tell you about the original story, The Little Mermaid? Yeah, sure. Okay, here you go. Yeah, that's so, you know, in the original story, The Little Mermaid, she dies. I forget the exact details, but she it dies. Yeah, it's not a happy ending at all. Because you know, a lot of those stories that Disney adapted, they originated with these like disturbing, like dark. Oh my god, yeah, like Snow White and like all that shit. It's all like awful fucking stories, like all okay. of them. Yeah. Oh, that was it. She just she died. That's all I remember. I forget oh, okay. the exact details, but like. Something about somebody has to murder somebody, like she has to murder the prince, or like her father has to murder her, or something like that. I, I forget. <laughs> her father has to murder her. No, I just remember my teacher read it to us as a kid, you know, in class, like one time, like like after the Disney movie came out. Okay. And was kind of like letting us know, now is, this doesn't end exactly like the Disney movie, this yeah. is different. And we're all like, like Jesus Christ, that, that's so fucked up, why wouldn't they, why would they... Even, like, Why would they do that? Bother in the first place. Well, that's the original. Like, yeah. the, like all those, like, like uh, fucking Grimm's fairy tales and all that. Those are all fucked up, and they're also like pretty short. Like a lot of those are like only like a few pages or like ten pages or something like that. Like those aren't like long stories. It's almost amazing that Disney adapted them into like feature films. You know, Disney yeah. added a lot. <laughs> but there you go. See, that was, like, what the trouble you were having. You can't be, like, right up against the edge. You have to kind of be back, like, there, and then you can hit him. So that's actually true. Like, just be, like, be back far enough. Boom. Oh, oh, I wasn't. Because it's, like, an arch. Like, yeah. you have to an arc, arch. I never knew the fucking difference. Ah. Ah. There we go. And he's dead. And I get another thing of a kebab. What are they called? Um, Hickam or Doodle? <laughs> that, was, uh, that one, I, I think that was just the one you got. I think was none of those. Oh, it's funny how it's a fork and a pipe. That's actually what it is in the movie. Yeah, it looks like he never got any of those. I'm not sure where, where you find them. Yeah, I don't know either. Dude, I gotta tell you about the mantis shrimp. Okay, oh, all right. right. What about the mantis shrimp? Oh my shrimp? god. It looks like kind of like a lobster that's been painted with, with fluorescent paint that, that glows in the dark, like under a black light. So they're like really colorful looking. And not only that, they can see more colors than we see. Like, there's actually colors that we don't know about. Okay. Like, can, well, and not, what colors not just, are they? Oh, I, we, we don't know about them. Like, we can't identify the colors. All we know is that they have more, um, like, cones in their eyes. Like, they can actually see a lot more colors than us. Um, so that's that's crazy in itself. So there's other colors? There, there exist way more colors than we know about. And the mantis shrimp which is probably about like a foot long, I think, sometimes. This animal is not a friendly animal at all. It is, oh shit, I'm sorry. That's okay, I don't think this, it would've been. This, 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 this story's worth it, though. <laughs> the, the mantis shrimp is deadly as fuck. Like, this this thing, I, I think it kills like octopuses and stuff. Like, what? This, this thing is crazy. <laughs> and you, you, I need to pause this to explain how it kills things. It basically, like, it has these two appendages in the front and it it swings them in the air really fast like like so fast it's like a fraction of a second like it's so fast a you could see it or something something like that but when it does it it creates like a shock wave that all the water around it like surges away yeah. and then it creates this gap of like oxygen in the water but the way it happens somehow it causes like almost like like a nuclear fucking blast. Like it, it makes like it makes heat. Are you sure you're not talking about a Godzilla villain? 
you would think you would think that this thing isn't real, but it actually does this. It creates like a like a projectile like heat wave through the water that just kills everything around it. The ironic thing is how beautiful they look. Like they're okay. just like it's like they're they're all rainbow colored, and you know you wouldn't think that this thing would be. A, a, I want to see one. It's a psychopath. They, these things are like murderous. It's a psychopath. Like, they, these are psychopathic creatures that. Oh, not psychopath. Psychopathic. They're psychopathic killers. That's what these things are. That are colored in rainbow. That's fucked up, dude. And have spectral tuning that allows them to see more colors and adapt their eyes. They can they can adapt their eyesight. They can change it to see whatever they want, like whatever colors they want. Are you gonna get one? I wish I could, but it would kill me. It would. It would kill. It would every, kill you. It would kill your whole fucking family. Ariel is fucking taking them out, though. Well, you know, if they were mantis shrimps, first of all, they'd be like every color you could imagine. <laughs> they'd be like rainbow, and then uh, you wouldn't be able to get near them because they would do their like their shockwave move. I'll bring that back to the child. Oh, the one that that was. Uh, oh, you just passed. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what would happen if Ariel encountered? Ah. Oh! Oh, she'd be dead. Mm. Oh, you can do diagonal? I didn't mean to, but yeah. Well, that's not oh, one more. Oh, boy. For me, too. No, I meant for you. No, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, of think. course. How would you know if it was him? Yeah. Nice. There you go. Hey, go away from me! You <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Look, you can't. I wonder if it would count after the enemy's dead. It might. That would suck. All right. How far are we in this game? I think we're pretty far. I don't think there's a lot left. It's not a long game. Mm. Oh, so that's a castle. Oh, there are hearts. That's the first time I've seen a heart in the whole Yeah, game. exactly. Oh, those things are creepy. Okay, we got to Ursula. <laughs> Face blinks green or like that. Oh. One more hand. Yeah. Oh, I'm so dead. Mm. Mm. Also, by the way, I don't think it's one of these games that has like multiple forms. Like, I think this is it. You think so? I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it does. Uh oh. Uh oh. God damn. Maybe it's not sure it doesn't start in there, motherfucker. Nope. At least now I think I might remember. Yeah. Those are the souls. By the yeah. Right uh huh. Creepy shit. Nice. Only 40 more. In Ghostbusters, you have to hit fucking Gozer like 45 uh, fucking times. Stairs are the biggest joke. Yeah. Woo! And how you have to tap the button instead of. Oh, yeah, instead of actually moving walk with the like a regular button. fucking yeah. game. There you go. Shit! Get out of here, get out of here. Nice. nice. All right. Woo. Let's see if there is another form. I don't think there is. Though. I think that might be it. Unless I'm mistaken. Or maybe she gets King Triton's thing. Maybe there is another form. Let's say. I'm, I can't remember. Nah, that's it. Ariel looks like Ursula is back, but this time she is gigantic. Oh, oh, there no, is more. She okay. Does big. Yeah. What should we do, Ariel? Ursula has become much more powerful. She's like, let's go home. <laughs> yeah. <that'd> be <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy! It's like the end of the movie, yeah. Oh man. Jeff ah! She's gonna have lightning attacks and shit. Okay, oh. yeah, Same go. deal? Can okay. you do it diagonally too? It might be able to... Oh yeah, you're oh, right. She's gonna do a laser beam at some point. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, she's charging up. I hit the wrong button after this long. Oh, after this long, I'm still confused? Alright. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, sure. definitely. Thank God. Genesis one probably even better. Probably, I haven't be seen it in a long time, though. I wonder actually who made the Genesis one. Like, what company? It's gonna be Mirrors now. Alright, let's see. That actually wasn't too hard. Yeah, it's not a super hard game. Here he is. 
Ariel defeated Ursula and released her friends from the spell. And Kate Ariel tried to move her desert. legs, I believe, to become human again. Ariel spent every day looking up at the land with tears in her eyes. King Triton saw that his daughter was in love and cast a spell on her to make her human once again. He zaps her with a laser and she did yeah. Oh my god, was she naked there? <laughs> he returned to the land and went to see Eric. He was very happy when he saw her and he swept her into his arms. Yes, unlike the book. I like the book ending better. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, all right, the end. Well... We beat the Little Mermaid. So how many Capcom like games have, have we done? We've done. Did we do Ducktales yet? I I don't know if we've done we Ducktales. Did did we, did we do Chip and Dale? No, I think we did the the, the hack somebody did the Vietnam edition oh God, yeah. Chip and Dale. <laughs> we yeah. did do that. Um, uh-huh. Oh my God, that Vietnam Chip and Dale. Um, Maybe we should even include that at the end of this or something. You guys should see that. Okay, so you remember, like, you know, DuckTales on NES? Mm-hmm. You had, uh, I think you had or you used to rent, like, uh, The Little Mermaid, right? You like that game, right? Um, so a lot of those um, games were Capcom. There was a Tailspin mm-hmm. Capcom game. All the Disney licensed ones were, like, Capcom. So the first one, you know, was Chippendale's Rescue Rangers for, you know, another Capcom Disney licensed game. Then then they came out with uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 2. Mm-hmm. And this is a pretty rare... NES cartridge. Not many people like had this game. I think it was like later in the NES's like release. Mm-hmm. Um, but even rarer than Chippendale uh, Rescue Rangers 2, um, as rare as this game is, even rarer is uh, this game, Chippendale Rescue Rangers uh, 3 uh, Vietnam. Capcom was gonna uh, release this. Wait a minute, for real? Yeah, this was here. Check this out. So you wouldn't believe it, but it's, uh, it's fucking it's Chip this, it's Chippendale. Yeah, Chippendale with guns. Um, and then um, this isn't like something no, that somebody look, made up. No, like that, it, what what I think is really funny is like look look at their faces. Look, point down. Look, yeah. look at look at how happy they are, and then you just you just fucking mur- you murder people. Wait, you can throw throw a grenade throw throw some grenades. <laughs> okay, okay, but but how is this Chip and Dale? Okay, I'm, it, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just I'm fuck I'm fucking yeah. with you. I wanted to see how long I can keep uh-huh. going. Keep well, going. I was gonna also suggest like was this maybe a real game with like two other rodent like characters that are not <laughs> actually Chip and Dale? That actually that would have been really funny. Yeah, and then they called it. Somebody released it and called it Chip and Dale. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, so which is it? Is it they just made it up or is it okay? So you, you want to know? So this this was a game for NES called Heavy Barrel. Okay, and they just took the warriors or whatever the soldiers out of that, and they just replaced it with Chip and Dale. Okay, so it, it is a real game, but this but they weren't uh, rodents; they were actually like soldiers. They were okay. It's a it's a sprite swap. So is Heavy Barrel and like can you get the real game too? Like is it? An yeah, official... you, you you probably have it. Okay, we should probably show that. And it's actually. actually an officially licensed game. Yeah, it is. Okay, all right, but I, but I, this, I'm up to speed now. Th- yeah, but this this is better than Heavy Barrel though because. Well, of course, you, because yeah. it's Chippendale. Yeah. <laughs> um, remember when we used to talk about Gra- Grand Theft Auto, um, D- Disney, <laughs> Grand and all, and all yeah, that. And yeah. all it's like, kind of like it could be made, basically. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like well, yeah. That that would be tough to make though, because because the um, Grand Theft Auto Disney would have to be like um, licensed by Disney. And they wouldn't license it. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention, it'd be really inappropriate for that game. That would be like really bad, actually. So, well, like, what about you? Don't you don't think uh, Chip and Dale like killing people in Nam is, is bad? It's, <laughs> I guess not, I mean, but not it, as bad. If, if, if it's just like one of those like war games that there exists so many of them. Sure. But you're talking about somebody going on a rampage in Disney World. Like that's bad. Like yeah. that's Now I can see what that you know that game should not exist. <laughs> but um. But I remember, like, we had some idea about Walt Disney's head is attached to a spider or something like Wait, a, what? a a mechanical spider or something like that. I forget. I don't remember that. I, don't, I, don't <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I, that sounds like a conversation we would have. Yeah, like like Walt Disney's still alive. Oh no, well, your Walt. The plot was your Walt Disney. But you're you're unhappy with how Disney is today, oh. and that's why you're like going on a rampage. He, so it's, he it's, might be too, because do you know do you know what the last thing Walt Disney filmed before he died was, or, uh, or one of the very last things at, no. at least? He he did a um he did a, a little film. Uh, it was like 
30 minutes, I think, about um, the, his plans for Epcot. Okay. Do you know what Epcot Center was supposed to actually be? Uh, was he dead before it even got built? Yeah, yeah he, he, okay. he had the plans for it, and okay. he did like a special on it, what he wanted it to be. And then he died. Okay. And then they built it as a theme park, but it wasn't supposed to be a theme park. Okay. Do you know what it was fucking supposed to be? What's your what, what's your guess before I say? My guess was that it was more focused on like educational stuff, which it is kind of, but like that so, it sort was of more like an educational center as opposed to it being like a theme park. Is that is that kind of uh, maybe a little a little, a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, it was actually he he want he was gonna build a city. It was gonna like legitimately be a city. Okay. Like, they, they blocked off, like, so at Disney World, like, the land for Disney World yeah. is right in the middle of Florida. Like, it's yeah. in, in the direct middle of Florida. Yeah. And they bought... It's huge. Yeah. They like, bought a so huge... Much yeah, they around. bought a huge area. And uh -huh. it, from what I heard, it's actually... The air, the amount of area that they bought for, for Disney World is actually, apparently, I don't know if it's true, but bigger than Manhattan. Is that why any hotel you get there, you have to get on, like, a train to, like... You know, oh yeah, it's a large. huge, it's a huge yeah. area. Because you have to drive through, or like you know, you get on the train and you go through just like nothing but like grassland mm -hmm. and stuff for like the longest time before you even get to the park. And I always yeah, knew I, that I, I the reason was to expand. But damn, it's like a lot of space. So yeah, I, I can see that. So any anyhow, so um, so there was all this land, and I think there's still a lot of like unused land. But mm -hmm. um, it was it was supposed to be like literally a city. But it's gonna. It was supposed to be like an amazing city, like a city of the future, and the middle of it was supposed to be Epcot Center, which is what they turned into the theme park. But Epcot Center was gonna be like a giant building, okay. and it was gonna be like a like a just a sort of like a world showcase okay. for people to go to, to like be like, oh, look at the wonders and the the amazing things that are happening here. And they were always gonna be bringing in like new inventions and new uh, like the top things going on in the world we're gonna like be mm -hmm. in the center of epcot city and um then the rest of it was on the outskirts of it was gonna be like people would live like literally live there and then there was gonna be like industrial centers and all this shit and anyway so we were talking about mm -hmm. grand theft the auto disney world and walt would be pissed i think you know if he came back and he saw that like they had turned mm -hmm. his like idea of like a city because it was supposed to be like uh, like it, that was going to be the first um it was going to be the first like city that was supposed to be like that and, he, and walt was kind of like hoping that other cities would sort of like pick pick mm -hmm. up that idea and like it maybe it would change the scope of the way the whole like country is hmm. so that like we could advance as a society but then so let's say walt disney came back from the dead and he's just saw like epcot center and he's like well you just turned into a fucking couple rides he's like i was trying to fix the world here so he, he, he you know you're talking about doesn't even sound like he's trying to make a city it sounds like he was trying to make a utopia yes yeah and also by the but way how could that even be done also, by the way, well, who knows if he would have been able to accomplish it, but this is what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And um, also, the middle of it, the center of Epcot, mm -hmm. that whole, like, crazy, the, like, really, uh, like, the center of it, where all the, like, the amazing stuff was going to be, was actually going to be covered in a dome. Um, and I'm not making this up. Like, you can watch it. It was going to be covered in a big dome. And it was going to be uh, environmentally controlled. So no matter what the weather was, it would always be a nice day in the dome. Hmm. Like th that was that was what Epcot Center was actually huh. supposed to be. I think I think Walt might be pissed. Uh. I, and you know you know who he would get to help him out, take down all the assholes who fucked up his company. Oh. Chip and Dale. This is a good game. De like I said, definitely a good. Uh, good yeah, game. definitely a, a fair challenge. Like it's it's you know one of the easier games I've, as we've mentioned, but it's not terribly easy. It's still you know it's still challenging enough. Representative of the movie. Good game. Yeah. Try it out. Mm -hmm. The Little Mermaid.